so this is a collage that I did um, mixed media with paint and papers just randomly put on and I'm going to show you a masking technique where I want to take some paper and cut out a shape that I want to then um, work with and block out certain areas. So I'm going to take this paper, which, ha which is a little translucent, so I can see underneath it. And what I'm going to do is draw a shape so I can see what areas I want to maintain. And I'm going to draw this random shape over here and then I'm going to cut it out um, best of course is to take a knife a cutting board and cut it out that way so I will get my knife and cutting board and I'm going to cut it out roughly the shape that I wanted so then with the negative shape that I've cut out from I can then place it on the area that I want to work with and move it around. So what do I want to expose here? Maybe something like, I want to include this area that I really like. Of course I can move it around and change it so it's not totally um, vertical or horizontal. I can move it around this way. I think for now I'm actually going to move it this way. There's so many different options but this is only you know a process so let's say Let's do this for now. And then I'm going to put this piece where I decided to place it. And I'm going to take my paint in this case i'm just going to be using some acrylic sort of uh, a color that's that's relatively related but more neutral and you notice i'm going to be painting away from the shape not into it because of course what will happen there is the paint will go underneath and um, so I'm just painting it away from the shape for now. I can always change this later. This is just to get a general shape going.
and I'm just softening the edges because I'm going to work on the edges afterwards. And I can lift it up and see what it's looking like. And it looks like I need to make it a little more definite over here on this edge. I still like it to be a little translucent so you can see the beautiful textures underneath. So I'm going to lift it up and that's the shape that I'm going to work with for now. Now I can soften these edges a bit. I can decide to really you know, take some of the color off. But this is part of the process. This is by no means the end of this piece. But I just wanted to show you how masking is so effective in bringing up shapes that you want to exaggerate. And, um, focus on. 